fully perceptual-based 3D spatial sound and eye visualization with an adaptive variational autoencoder. We perceive the directions of incoming sounds using both ears with direction-dependent sound modifications. These two channel sound transforms are called HRTF, that is required to reproduce incoming sounds from various directions using a two-channel headphone in virtual environments. However, the measurement procedure of HRTF requires time-consuming and tedious efforts of the user. To address this, we propose a fully perceptual-based HRTF fitting method to a specific user using machine learning techniques. Our algorithm consists of two phases. At the first phase, we train a neural network using a public HRTF dataset. At the calibration phase, the system shows test signals generated from the HRTF generator, and the user provides feedbacks according to the perceptual direction. Using this feedback information, the system optimizes a new HRTF for the user. During calibration, the system presents a pair of test signals. The user listens to the test signals and provides feedback by selecting one of the five scale options that represents the sound that has perceptually better spatialization. We validated the ability of our algorithm to generate appropriate HRTFs by using synthetic data. For synthetic data generation, we simulated an open space 3D acoustic field around an elliptically shaped obstacle using the finite difference time domain method, and recorded virtual HRTFs. We trained our algorithm using these synthetic data, and predicted a new virtual HRTFs for a new shape obstacle. This is the result. With all directions, our algorithm had fewer errors than did linear interpolation, which means that our algorithm can generate appropriate HRTFs. We employed 20 participants and optimized HRTFs for them using our system. After each calibration, we conducted a blind listening test to compare the optimized HRTF and the best CIPIC HRTF for each participant. This is the result. This list shows the number of times the better HRTF was selected by each participant. These results reveal that the optimized HRTFs were significantly better for almost all participants than were the best matched HRTF in the dataset. Finally, we show several optimized HRTF results for the users who participated in the user study.
Thanks.